Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some winter favorites. I love these videos, I love making these videos, and I can't wait to share with you what I've been loving in the winter. Uh, but before I get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So my first favorite for the winter is a Jo Malone perfume, and it's in the scent Wood Sage and Sea Salt. My favorite perfume before this was um, from Tokyo Milk. It was Tokyo Milk Tainted Love. And I never thought I would like anything as much as I liked that perfume. But I really love this. It's very adult and there's just something sophisticated and like classy about it. Um, it smells expensive and that's a good thing because it is expensive. And it just, it sits well on the skin. It's very non-irritating, even for people who I think don't usually like perfumes. I think you would like this one. It's very earthy and cool. I just think it's something really special and I really recommend smelling this. And if you were wondering about the quality of these Jo Malone perfumes, I would say they're really good. My next favorite has to be, I think my ultimate favorite of the winter, and it is vitamin E oil. I used to use vitamin E oil on my face uh, when I was a teenager and I totally forgot about it until a friend of mine mentioned it the other day and I did have vitamin E in my cabinet so I tried it again I squeezed out the vitamin E oil and then I applied it under my eyes and oh my god my eye bags have never looked better in my whole life I highly recommend this if you have mature skin or dry skin just take vitamin E um, out of the caplets you just like pop the capsule um, and apply it on your face and it is a little bit sticky but the next day you will wake up younger. I highly recommend doing this and I've even started taking some vitamin E oil and putting it in my bathtub as well so my whole skin is just looking and feeling great. So highly highly could not recommend this more. If you have vitamin E in your cabinet right now, put it on your face, just trust me. My next favorite is also kind of a smelly thing. I guess I've been really into scents um, this winter. And this is from Bath & Body Works and it is the candle called Winter. And I did have this last year and I loved it last year. But this year, I've just been blown away by how incredible this candle is. Oh, it's just the best. It smells like evergreen with a touch of peppermint. So it's got that like fresh balsam woods smell that like it's just so classic and wintry and then that little touch of peppermint just gives it a little extra the throw is amazing like my whole apartment will smell like this when i burn it so i'm just so in love with these candles a lot of bath and body works candles are good but i think this is just now becoming my ultimate favorite and it also looks really nice. It's got like a really cool design on the front. I think it looks very classy. Um, sometimes they can look a little bit tacky, but not this year. My next favorite are these plaid shirts from Cabela's. Check out my Cabela's haul. These are so affordable. I think I got them for like $13 each and they just feel amazing. Um, they're so warm, they're so comfy, and when I put them in the wash and they come back out, they're still like the same quality, like they, they wash really nicely. So I've been wearing them so often, I've got uh, this like red plaid one, and I also have this um, white and black one that I had to pull out of the laundry because the minute these are clean, I wear them again. Like I've just been reaching for them so much, and they're just the best. And you can wear them as like basically like a sweater or you can wear them on their own and I, I just think they're the the absolute best they've just been my total vibe for this winter has been wearing this plaid pretty much every day I highly recommend these the brand is Hobbs Creek my next winter favorite is this coffee creamer it's from International Delight and it's in the peppermint mocha flavor uh, so it's got like elf on the carton and this has just been so nice putting it in my coffee like I've saved so much money not going to Starbucks this year and honestly I haven't even really wanted to go to Starbucks because this is just as good you don't need to put any sugar so when you pour your coffee I just put like a spoon or two of this in there and yeah it tastes like a peppermint mocha like it's really delicious 
um, and I'm such a big fan. I've never really been a coffee creamer person, but I'm starting to think maybe I'll become one because this was awesome. My next favorite is actually a TV show, and adult cartoons are actually my favorite. Like, they're my favorite thing. I grew up watching, like, Family Guy and South Park and, like, all of those type of things. Um, and I've discovered a new one, and I'm obsessed with it. If you like Rick and Morty, I think you will love YOLO Crystal Adventure. It's on Adult Swim, but I watch it through Stack TV, through Amazon Prime. It's kind of complicated, but if you can find this, I highly recommend watching it. It is so funny. It's got that like absurd adult humor that you love from Rick and Morty and stuff like that. Um, only it's these Australian party girls as the main characters and they are incredibly relatable um, and it's just like such a good time. So my favorite thing in the world is just like a can of soda, a bag of chips and some adult cartoons. So I've been having such a good time watching this show. Um, highly, highly recommend it. My second things to watch recommendation is just completely different and this is a YouTube channel. It's called Jake and Mandy, but it's Mandy who's the one who usually is blogging and it's these like housewife vlogs um, that are just so heartwarming and nice. Uh, they are Christians. I'm actually Christian too. It's something I don't talk about very often. If you like lifestyle vlogs here on YouTube, I highly recommend watching them. They actually motivate me. Like I watch their vlogs and then I feel like cleaning the house or doing something nice for my husband and it just like makes me feel like a better person when I watch them. So I highly recommend checking out their channel. I'll link it here. I feel weird um, this time around not having any makeup to recommend but I really haven't been wearing a lot of makeup. We're back under lockdown where I live in Ottawa and I've just been kind of enjoying my regular face but thank you for watching these are all my favorites and please leave comments down below i want to know what your favorites are for this um for this season as well bye